Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and it's time for me to start up a new series. I wasn't going to jump ahead and get a new series started, but, well, I got Massive Chalice by Double Fine Productions, and I put it in after I read up on it and checked on it, and was like, you know, that game looks really cool. I want to get my hands on it. So I got it, I put it in, or I turned it on, I played it, whatever you want to call it, guys. I started playing it, I played for about 5-10 minutes or so, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, this game is amazing. I need to play it now. I'm not waiting. I'm starting a new series. So, that's pretty much where we're at, and that's what's going to happen. So, Massive Chalice, Double Fine Productions, it's in early access on Steam. It just hit that today, and we are going to start up this series. And I am super, super excited about it. It is a turn-based strategy game, but there's a lot more to it than that. But I'm not going to do a lot of spoilers. I've played, actually, a little bit more than five minutes, probably about a half hour of the game. I got through the first battle and kind of saw some of the more complex stuff after the fact. So we're going to hop in and get started and see what's what. So sure we'll go with Bumpy McSquiggums, we're going to go with the thematic serious names and stuff. We could have silly non-thematic names, but I like this, I like this. We're going to go with that and let's begin, shall we? It's taking too long. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own timetable, not ours. Oh, it doesn't stop us from trying. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. Rejoice and let bellow the horns of birth. <laughs> Right. I know how strange all of this looks, but there's an easy... Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding... The horns of battle! Every time! Fine, we'll have to do this later. The Cadence is attacking. Heroes! Jump in! Get in there! The ruler will be with you shortly! And off they go. We'll explain later. We just need you to take command, because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking but chalice. But the nation will listen to you, because you're of their blood. Forged from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never leave the throne. But do not despair. You can still command your heroes. Look inward, and you will find that your mind can follow them anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I love the voice acting. I love the storyline so far. Even the art style you was see great. Heroes yet? And if you take yeah. a look at the graphics great. here. No. Phenomenal. Take command and search the Absolutely area. Absolutely phenomenal. So we'll go over this real, real quick. You can select with your left mouse button and confirm with the right. You can zoom the camera by rolling the mouse. Home will center on the selected hero and will end the turn. Escape is, of course, cancel or pause. Tab is to cycle through your units. You can use one, two, three, four, whatever for your skills. You can orbit the camera by using the Q and E keys. You can zoom the camera alternately as opposed to the mouse wheel by using R and T. F will adjust melee position. I'm not sure what that does just yet. You can confirm and start stop timeline by hitting the space bar and of course move the camera with WASD and finally hero info with Z. So that is all there. You guys could have read that on your own. Kate, I figured I'd make it a little bit easier somewhere. for you. Alright, so there's going to be enemies out and about and we're going to have to find them. We're going to have to be somewhat careful. I don't know. Every time I've started this game, I've, this is actually the third time I've started it up, Different, different map, different level, so I like that. I like that it's a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit confusing, a little bit weird, a little bit scary, huh? huh? And just different each time. It actually is pretty cool to see that. Alright, so let's move forward. And it looks like we have found our first enemies. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the Cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago. It cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. 
That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the Cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. Okay, it looks like we do not this have any caber, alchemists Jack. right now. They hit right things now. with a caber. Sometimes they hit hard and put things down. Other times they hit not so hard and just knock things out. That's all you're going to say. Simplest way of life there is. Caber jacks. Profound purveyors of violence. Okay, so the, the caber jack guys are actually melee people. They can knock people around or they can just do some flat out damage. Yeah, you have the hunter. Our hunters attacking are attacking close well, range is good, but attacking from afar where one can think and plan is better. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Actually, the hunter will be in front of the group, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? I absolutely love the banter back and forth between the two chalice parts. Attack the target, and there we go, one down. How about Die. That, eh? All one right. down, untold millions to go. So each person actually has a, untold millions to go. Each person actually has a name. So we have Thomas Blackwell, Emma Blackwell. We've got Grigory Cas. Oh boy, Casavin. Sure. We have Sofitia Casavin, and we have Els Anderson. So we saw what the hunter can do. Let's see what one of the caber jack guys can do. You can just roll up on them. You can actually move and attack with them as well, which is nice. And bam. On the damage. And we see somebody out in the back. You will be mourned. They leveled up. And yes, the other enemy is Seeds. spotted. Arguably the lowliest of pawns are more nuisance than menace. I do not but believe... But if you're going to remember one oh, thing, let don't talk. let those runts form a posse. Keep them apart. Otherwise, it'll be like when caber jacks get together at a tavern. Except not the best night of your life. <laughs> uh, this game. Anyhow, um, I don't believe there's an Overwatch feature just yet. I don't know if it's something that they're going to implement down the road or what the case is, but I did talk to the developer when I got the game, and they said that the game might be in Steam's early access, so it's not a complete, it's not the final build of the game. But it is playable from beginning to end. So, yeah, give me my bless or his blessing to cover the game, and I plan to do so. So let's uh, share the love a little bit here with damage, and oh, down he goes, and sweet, sweet, nice. So each of our ranger guys, or our hunters, as it were, managed to get themselves a kill, get themselves a kill, which is always good. All right, we're gonna move our caber jacks up slowly. Oh, and then we have one of those. Lapsed. Those are nasty because they can actually Cadence shoot at you. cowards. They'd rather stay back and snipe at you than fight up close. Be wary. If your heroes are hit, they may forget some of their combat training. The mind is just as vulnerable as the body. Alright, well, we're going to try to get over there. We have pretty good positioning overall. It's not the greatest, but it's, it's decent. We should be able to maneuver ourselves into a, a relatively safe spot, I suppose. We'll, we'll sit here. They'll have to close with the us, and I don't know that they will. Oh, yeah, they chose not to, so that's actually quite excellent. Alright, I'm going to move here. While stealth, and it looks like we uncovered them. There's at least two things over there, too, in our movement. So I don't hate that. Um, I'm going to move here. Uh, let's get our other stealthy person up to there, I suppose. Get our caber jack people on this side of the wall. Over. Looks like we don't have anybody else lingering. So we might be okay. Move up, and it's going to be their move. And, alright, so he came running over. He's like, bah! Bah! which is okay. We don't mind the sounds. It's fine. Um, gonna move here. And I don't know that I can shoot that far. Apparently, I can. And that worked out exceptionally well. Um, I don't know how far I can move with you. Can you shoot that far too? No, you cannot. Alright, well, we'll move you over here then. Sadly, it looks like our caber jack guy is going to have to kind of do some weird positioning move type of situation here. Ooh, we're going to have the seed guy actually hit us. That's not fun. Well, we can kind of close with him, I guess. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to take at least one point of damage here. Oh, these will be coming. Thankfully, they don't get to move 
when you first discover them, they're like, oh no, we're being seen, but we still have the first move, so that's actually quite nice. Um, move up and try to get the hit with the 11. Oh, we did not do much damage there. That is pretty unfortunate. And rather unfortuitous. Um, I guess we're gonna move here. So we're gonna hit, we're gonna soak at least, uh, two hits in this one. It's not gonna be great. It won't be, it won't be overwhelmingly far. Ooh, that actually hurt quite badly. That could have been avoided. A level that lost. could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic bloodlines. Oh yes, we forgot to mention. Normal humans cannot survive even a single touch from the Cadence, but because the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have yeah, our power flowing through more damage them, there. they have a fighting chance. Oh, no, no such luck, huh? Let's move here. Do we get a shot? Still no shot, huh? Hmm. Well, that is somewhat annoying. All right, well, we're going to move back around. And we'll see what we can make happen. Move him up to take care of this. Ooh, still not enough damage. Looks like there's still two left. We might have to deal with one more damage being set forth here. Damn, I don't know why the Caber Jacks are doing so little bit of damage. I mean, they were massacring stuff in the last one. Alright, well, we're gonna go for the final kill here. Yeah, see, that's what I was expecting. Eleven's. Oh, one damage and stunned. Oh, he's stunned too. That's not terrible. So you want to kill those, uh, those far away shooty people with, um, with some ranged attacks. You don't want to get in melee range to kill them. Take a little bit of damage, but I suppose it's okay. Alright, so we took a little bit more damage. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm going to move here, see if we can get a shot on anything. It looks like we can. Oh, we missed. That's unfortunate. Alright, gonna move here. I'm sure we can get a shot on something. 50%. Let's take it. We might hit, we might not. There we go. There we go. Went down he goes. We got some experience. Die! And we gained a level up there. Which is sweet, sweet, nice. Um, let's throw our lot in with... Oh, man, that's still... It's just not working, huh? Alright, we're gonna move here and. There we go. That was a good hit. Alright, it's their turn. Hopefully, none of our folks die from this. Okay. One point of damage, not too bad. Glancing blow. They should engage with one another, I would assume. Okay. Ooh, he gained some health back from it somehow. That's interesting. Alright, again, not too bad. Not too bad in the overall grand scheme of things. Alright, let's get here and take a shot. Down he goes. I like that a whole heck of a lot. Gonna move... Let's see, we have a 50% chance. What if we move here? Does it increase our odds any? Oh, still a 50% chance. And we missed it. It's unfortunate, but it is reality. Alright, let's get Sophitia over here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So that's how you, if you hover over and you want to move the, uh, where you're going to stand with your melee attack, you hit F and it will actually cycle that through. Went better than I expected. All right, so massive well victory. Done. Well done. We lost no one. I knew one. you'd have a knack for this. So we lost no one. It shows us there was, uh, eight turns played. And it took us nine minutes, 24 seconds, a total of eight kills that we managed to achieve. Two people managed to level up, and it shows how much experience was was gained for kills, and how much was gained for the actual mission experience. It shows you the sex and the age of each of your people. Now be careful because I ran across it to where we had somebody with a man's name that was a woman, or a woman's name that was a man. It was a Bianca that was a guy. So there's a little bit of random name generation, so just be cautious when you're looking at it. Make sure you look at the name and the uh, the sex of the person, because you'll need that in a future thing coming up here. So let's right. check that out. So this is our nation, and, and as we bit. said, we are not in the best of shape. That muck you see surrounding us is the Cadence. It's what created the pawns, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the Cadence from this world. 
It's really quite a miraculous process, wherein we harness the properties of- The thing is, it takes a long time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. And with all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. You will take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the Cadence does not reach the capital. Now let's check out that keep you just saved. Alright, now a little bit more depth than we're used to in a lot of the turn-based strategy games. Let's go take a look. The keeps. Bloodline forgers of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. Yeah, they did. I'll thank them later. Here, you will appoint one hero as a regent, and one as a partner. And the more experience they have, the more they'll pass on to their children. That goes for traits and personalities, too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, assigning heroes to keeps retires them from combat. You can't have one foot at home and one in the battlefield. So basically, what they just said was that you're gonna send one of your one of your units, one of your troops, one of your members of your heroes, whatever they are, which is this giant list of things that we have here, and you're gonna set them up as regents in different areas, and then you're gonna do one of those, and then you're gonna have a partner so they can produce children and everything else. Looks like Emma Blackwell be, will be joining us forever because she is infertile, so I will not be using her as a regent ever. Uh, we have high fertility in two of the women and three of the women, in fact. All right, so at this point, we have caber jacks, we have hunters, hunters, caber jack, hunter, hunter, caber jack, hunter, caber jack, blah, 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 and one alchemist. We are not leaving our alchemist behind because that we do not have another one right now. And thankfully, Emma is one of the ones that actually leveled up, though it now kind of makes me a little, a little less excited because... The more experience and levels and everything that they've gained, the more they pass on to their children. So, again, I don't know how this is all going to play out. I've gotten to about this point, a little bit further than this point, and I know nothing of what's coming. So, let's see if we can figure this out and get a good choice here. So, Emma Blackwell grants a quick hipfire crossbow shot for 50% damage if the first shot hits. We shall unlock that. And we're going to back out and right, we'll, we'll do this later. All right, um, so high fertility. Let's check out Brunhild Anderson. There's a female, it's a slow learner, bountiful, so children, rebel, young at heart, and insightful. So most of this is okay. The personality's not great. That one's not good. Um, it's okay. Eh, I don't know. I think there's going to be better choices. So, who was our third fertile person? Sabal Barnarus. Alright. Sabal is clumsy, so lower dexterity. Uh, hardy. Optimistic. True hit chance is probably lower than predicted. Uh, drunk. Uh, increased evasion against ranged attacks. Well, I think we're going to go with this person anyway. So, bam. Confirm. High fertility. Um, we don't necessarily have to put her in charge. We could go with one of the... Oh, we'll do it. She's 16, though. Um, let's see. We need a male. We need a man. Thomas Blackwell. I mean, I don't, I'm assuming Emma might be a sister. I, 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 don't, I don't know for sure. You can actually click here and click Info. And it looks like there is a sibling, and that's Thomas. Okay, so there we go. Um, I think Thomas, he's got decreased dexterity, increased HP, increased experience. Uh, pack Hunter, nice. Unfocused, uh, that's, that's not bad. I think we're going to do that. We're going to actually go with him as the leader. He'll be the regent of this keep. Now that your regent is appointed, it's time to decide. And then we're going to throw in the ball, I believe. Although is the this next. isn't an arrangement out of love, who knows? So Maybe see what it'll she's turn got. into that. We've seen it happen. Personality, uh, traits, experience—they're all important here. But just because this is an arrangement of necessity doesn't mean you should reduce these heroes to a pile of numbers either. They deserve better than that. Okay. Well, if we threw Car Kara in there, it wouldn't be terrible because of the age, pretty close to the same, but again, we don't want to get rid of our only alchemist, so I think we're going to either go with one of these two. 
Now I imagine if we throw Sabal, the age difference is pretty far where these two are really close. It might not be as good. So I think I'm going to go with Brunhild. Um, slow learner. It's, well, whatever. We'll see. We'll, we'll learn as we go, guys. There we go. So we're going to have Brunhild Anderson marrying Thomas Blackwell. Uh, Blackwell. Many Bam. happy returns. There Let's we go. give the newlyweds some privacy, eh? So regent and partner. Let's get out of this place. It's a lot to take in, but you'll handle it, or your mind will become as cracked as our body. <laughs> you'll be fine. Now then, please join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. Alright, back to the capital and the throne room. So onward we go to see what awaits and us. And welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This is where your heroes return to after battle. From here, you may equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Whether it's building new keeps, starting a Sage Rites Guild, or a Standards Crucible. Fun stuff. I absolutely adore and love the art style in this game. I really, really love the voice acting and the writing. It's fantastic. Even the soundtrack is pretty darn good. So, I gotta say, I have no regrets for getting this game. Alright, so let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? I have no idea what most of this stuff does, guys. It's pretty cool. We are going to unlock this. Taunt an enemy to attack the Caber Jack. That's not terrible. So there we go. It is chosen and it is sweet, sweet, nice. I don't think we have any any armor or anything particular that we can do. Alright, I don't know... What, okay, so there's our Regency. That's what's actually out there right now. These are our active heroes. Or ones that are able to actually go into combat. And I think maybe we removed somebody. How many do, are we able to have? Hmm. Standards. We have not promoted any heroes into a cruci crucible. Promote a standard in order to accelerate the experience gain of heroes in training. Hmm. We have not inducted any heroes into the Sage Rites Guild. Appoint Sage Rites in order to accelerate our research. we are trainees. There are no future heroes in training. Appoint regents and partners to bear children to continue our bloodlines. And a deceased. And we have not lost any heroes yet, but you will. Or, but we will not be this fortunate for long, ruler. Alright, so I guess there's nothing else for us to do here other than research. So let's hmm. research something. Building more keeps is likely the most pressing option, as you'll be able to foster more bloodlines, but don't shun the other possibilities. Hmm. With your approval, we can research weapons, potions, armor. If the amount of time required dissuades you from researching something, consider the Sage Rites Guild. Any hero who joins the Sage Rites Huh. Hasten the time required for any pursuit. They will never see combat Ooh. again. Keep in mind, most of our power is focused on charging up to cleanse the Cadence, so we can only devote enough energy to research one thing at a time. That includes searching for new heroes. It takes a lot of effort to find people attuned with us, and it'll only get harder the more we do it. But choose whatever you want. Okay, well, it looks like we are going to have some fun with this. Alright, so we can build a crucible, which I don't know what that does. Within a crucible, the hero promoted to be the standard will help boost the experience of our trainees. Their training regiments will be dispersed nationwide, and they will pass on some of their own experience and personalities as well. Okay, uh, we can build a keep, which is what we had before. This is the only way to ensure that our most powerful bloodline survive is through keeps. By marrying heroes together as regent and partner, the bloodlines will have a chance to continue through generations to come. The cost for building keeps increases with each construction. We can build a Sage Rites Guild as well, which they just told us basically we can throw heroes into that, retire them, and increase our ability to research stuff. Then we have armor, we have weapons, which there's nothing available yet. We have items. Um, we can find heroes or adopt them, apparently. We can recruit new heroes. We can adopt a baby boy, adopt a baby girl. Uh, nation, it's a recruitment bonus. 24 years for that, yikes. And then completed. We have none available. So they said that the first most pressing matter is probably to build a keep. 
I don't know if that's 100% true, but we're going to give it a shot. It looks like it's going to take six years to do so. And, well, I guess it is what it is. Let's take a look at the armor real quick. Refined alchemist armor. It would be... It would be wonderful if our alchemists didn't have to worry about hurting themselves on the battlefield with their flasks. Researching some better armor would help them immensely. The hunter armor with better armor for hunters or something one's well-being for more accurate shots suddenly becomes more enticing. Refined caberjack, uh, thrive in scalding flames of battle, which is nice, and it would kill 12 laps to get veil armor, in which the skin of lapses inhibits some extraordinary illusionary properties, or exhibits, sorry. With uh, enough residue collected from their bodies, we could fashion a suit of armor that will improve the stealth abilities of our hunters. Sounds pretty cool. See the items a health vial. It has long been theorized that the vast school trees outside the capital hold the secret, or hold the key to fast-acting medicine. With enough research, we're confident we can create an elixir that would help your heroes recover quickly from wounds sustained on the battlefield. The vital band wellness rings sold outside the capital supposedly promote good health for the wearer. With some research, we can modify them to increase the maximum health. Steady hander looks like it increases our accuracy. The sponge stone will. Let's see. The seeds seem to leech some of their victims' life force each time, or with each annoying headbutt. We're certain that it may be possible to imbue a small stone with the ability to steal health from the cadence during combat. Interesting. The experience scarf. And it looks like you have to kill a certain number of different things to actually gain these additional items, which I like a lot. That's actually a really cool way of leveling things up. Um, by employing the powers of the chalice, we can search for an attuned orphan child within the nation. This child must be adopted by a regent. Research cost for this search will be increased with each attempt. Same thing. And we can search for a group of attuned citizens ready to become heroes and protect our lands. And again, same situation. We have 13 deployable heroes. That's fine. We'll go with, um... I think we're going to go with the, the keep. I think that's going to be our best bet. We're going to do that. And choose an empty region in which to construct a keep. Well, I think we're going to try to keep it close to home. All hunters, dexterity bonus. Let's see what else is there. The pale sea, there's nothing there, nothing there. All Caber Jacks strength bonus. Um, local Crucible XP training boost. Interesting. Let's see what else we have. Local Guild research rate boost. And local keep fertility boost. Interesting. I think that might be a really good one to get. But I think I kind of. I, I'm assuming I want to stay nearby. I don't know. So, what is this one? Mm. Maybe we'll go here. Let's try going there. I don't know if this is good, bad, or indifferent. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. One more thing. The end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet. But your immortality gives us an advantage. The ability to step back and let time pass. You can start and stop this timeline at will. But we'll also stop it for you should something require your attention. Like a cadence attack. That is a probable possibility. Alright folks, that's going to do it for now. I will advance all this stuff and continue on in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this new series. And I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. Until the next time guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. And I will see you later.